Alamo. Can anybody guess what we're doing? Baking, strangely enough. It's almost like we think we're good at it. I am. She actually. is. She is actually good at it, which this, is why, yeah, she's baking. <laughs> I am baking. I was told that we were doing a cookie day. So explain what cookie day is. So what we do is we all make cookies. Like we bake cookies beforehand or we make them there. I always bake mine beforehand. Um, it's so she can just sit around and drink. So I can sit around and drink and we all sit around, drink, talk shit, because that's what my family does, and have a good time. And then when everybody's cookies are done, we all bring a big Tupperware, take some of everyone else's cookies and bring them home so that we come home to a variety of cookies. Really great tradition. I really love it. I know you can still do it and it'd be moderately COVID safe as long as you're not traveling really far to exchange cookies. So I'm going to make the cookies I always make for cookie day. I make snickerdoodles. It's my own recipe. So that's what I'm doing and that's what I thought we were doing. I thought we were baking today. I have a feeling uh, we are not baking today, but I am baking today. Which makes it a royal we are baking today. It is. Royal we are baking today. So, as we can all see from my track record and future videos that have already been filmed, uh, baking is not exactly my forte. So I've never made cookies that don't come out of a package and then you add some eggs, or they come as cookie dough and then you just cut them. And I thought to myself, do you really feel like failing again? And I said, Mmm, no. My self-esteem's a little low in the baking department. So, I am copping out and I'm claiming it so you, no one can say it otherwise. Yeah. I went to Target and I bought cookie kits. So I have sugar cookie ornaments and it comes with, oh no, do I have to bake this? Yeah, they make them with little stained glass. Oh man, man, I do have to technically put something in the oven. I am baking. Look at you go. There's hard candies in it, and I'm going to put them in the middle and melt them, and then I've got like sprinkles and icing and stuff, so I'm going to make it real cute. And they had snowmen, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was one box of snowmen left, and four of the six of them, their heads were cut off because someone had like knocked the box around a little too much. And I went, that seems a little depressing. So instead, what I found in the clearance section were turkeys. So I'm gonna make some Thanksgiving turkeys on this day, December... December 19th. December 19th. So they're not that old. No. All right, so because I'm only decorating, we're gonna wait until Katie has done all of her things so she can tell you how she's making her cookies. And I'm gonna sit here and look on with rapt attention. Katie, take it away, it's the Katie Show. First things first, oven. That's oven. a good idea. 350. And what else have you prepared over next to the oven? Oh, next to the oven, I have my largest pan, just cause that's the pan I like to use, with parchment paper. So then I have some room temperature butter. Butter. How much butter? I got two sticks, which is uh, a cup. You're using both sticks? Yeah. Oh, these are very healthy cookies. Blackberries mix. How do you get it out of the beaters? Oh, you just like fling it out. That was very violent. And then I'm going to use a lot of sugar. Okay, so we have two sticks of butter and then we have a lot of sugar. A cup and a half. That is a lot of sugar. Now I know why the sugar noodles are always so good. And yes, sugar noodles are a holiday cookie. I make them all year round. I don't care. Any day's a holiday if you're eating snickerdoodles. There you go. So this is the point you want it at. Because like it'll go to like crummy and then it'll get to here where it's kind of like Bleh. that's what you want. Like with two C's or three C's? Uh two. Two. Okay. Two. It's it's only two C's in the word yeah. thick. Yeah. And then we're going to add one egg at a time. We're going to add two eggs total. And there we go. Fully incorporated butter and egg. Now we are going to use a lot of flour. Incorporate it a little bit at a time because you don't want to over mix trying to get out clumps. So how much butter? In total, we're going to do two and three quarters cups. You don't feel the need to sift your flour? Sifting is a scam. Before I mix in this last one, we are going to do a test of baking soda. You can sub powder, I've done it before. 
So if you're in a sub baking powder, just times it by three. Whatever amount you're doing, just to be cool. And then here is also when we will savor salt. <laughs> you want to put salt in your baked goods. This is going to be half a tisp. That's getting thick. Mm -hmm. That's like three seats thick. <laughs> You just want to add a point where you can roll it in a ball. I do balls. Like golf ball size? Mm. Ping pong ball? Yeah, uh, in between. Like, okay. it's kind of whatever feels right for you, what size you want them. We now have pan. We kept our sugar and cinnamon because we are now going to take three tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon and put it in this bowl. So you have your ball and then you just Roll her in. I will return. Sounds good. Oh, is that my intermission music? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, that's my intermission music? Yeah. I feel so wonderfully included. <laughs> While she's away, some quick tips with this recipe. Bake it right away. There's no letting it refrigerate, letting it sit. They turn into little hockey pucks. Bake them right away. And then also, you'll, you'll see me do is press them down with my fingers so they like spread. Cook them for 12 minutes. I've tried it in a multitude of ovens. 12 minutes always works every time. Have fun. Hold on. I'm pretending I have this together. So I've got cookies and now two hard candies in the center of each cookie. Both of these I think would be fun with kids. If you're not a big baker, I think that's a good good thing. But if you're a baker, this I think is gonna be really fun with kids having them like like you can roll them out so that they're all even, but then they can do the cinnamon sugar bit. And then if you want, you can go crazy with flavors and be like, hey, what other stuff do you want to put in there? And they can have like their few like weird cookies, you know? Because kids are like <laughs> Katie, I'm not sure that we can qualify kids as weird like that when we put Skittles inside a croissant. You put Skittles inside. And was it not the best flavored croissant? It was actually weirdly good. Yeah. Like, I still think about that fruity tootie, little miss buttery scooty. <laughs> that croissant's still in the back of my mind. Oh my gosh. We just daydream about her. She's worth daydreaming about. Oof. <laughs> oof. Don't you oof me. Oh, man, I feel very weird now. I feel very judged. <laughs> no. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, am I one candy short? Oh my god, yeah! I'm legitimately one candy short. I'm mm -hmm. not done. <laughs> you got some butterscotch in the pantry, right? Yeah, in the Halloween bucket. Should I add Skittles to the middle of one? Huh. Oh my god, yes! They're back at it! Oh, we're gonna add all one color so it turns out nice though. Yeah. So we've got strawberry, melon, melon berry. This is not a berry. Why is this in the wild berry mix? It says cherry is a berry too. Huh. Would you look at that? Huh. Then again, it says berry punch. So uh, anyways, we've got strawberry, melon berry, raspberry, wild cherry, berry punch, grape, green apple, lemon, strawberry, or orange. Ooh, we should do strawberry because then we'll have enough. Yeah. So I don't know how many strawberry will be in each container. What color is the strawberry one? Red. Okay. Oh, well, I don't even need to open that other one. You think I should crush them up or just shove them in raw? <laughs> raw. It's candy. I'm a bird. Yeah, that's what I'm doing me raw. children is a fun family activity. Balance, Anna. Balance. Oh, gross. Ooh, you want the fruit punchy ones? <laughs> not if you're going to be weird about it. <laughs> Katie, can I not just sit here in peace? Hold on, there's like four more. Here, hold on, I'm going to feed you like a baby bird and hopefully you won't choke. Say ah! Ah. Oh no, all the way back. <laughs> I'm gonna check them at like 
five minute pour because I'm putting it in 25 degrees too high. Yeah. And Katie's also going to shove hers in for how long again? 12? 12. 12 minutes. So in 12 minutes, she'll have her first batch ready. Okay, so I actually have no idea what these hard candies are. I don't know, but I have an extra one because they fucked up learning how to count at the factory. So I'm going to put it in my mouth. I think it's attempting to be a lemon candy. Attempting to be a lemon candy. Yeah, it's like a LaCroix. Oh! You put these through the holes to make ornaments. <gasps> we can hang them in the wreath. Yeah, we can definitely take like, some of the prettier ones and put them in the wreath. And then eat well, the, that, the that is a lot of expectation. She's expecting any of them to turn out nice. Let's look at the turkey ones. Oh, they give you step-by-step -step instructions to make the exact turkey they show. Young decorators may benefit from adult help. Katie, can you be my adult help? You're older than me. Anna. <gasps> that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Can you add eight minutes to that timer when we have a second? God, I guess. Oh, look, they already made the turkey head, so you can't really jack that up. That's so nice. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I'm Hey! Hey, adult. Mm -hmm. Can you like open it? Yeah. I can just edit it now. But I want you to do it now. Well, you can wait because I'm in the middle of doing something and my hand hurts. <sighs> You're not being very patient. Uh, I'm being real quiet about it. No, you're not. Candies. I definitely forgot. I don't know why you trust me. Why are you an adult? I told you. I'm not. Wow, this is so thick. It's like concrete in here. Oh my gosh, Katie, are your hands okay? Can you please open this one? Your hands are gross. Come on. You are such a terrible adult. They're not supposed to use sharp things because I boob with myself. It's already dripping off the cookie. All right, jacked up already, everyone. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting amazing things out of this. I was expecting to not have to bake, and that has already been failed. So, you know, you know, you know. Oh, this is gonna be a messy cookie. That is a okay. Cause this isn't going in the wreath, so I don't really care. It's totally fine. Can you feel how fine it is? Okay. Am I supposed to apply? sugar carefully to area covered in icing you know you know how i said i needed an adult's help would <laughs> you like this no whoopsie she knows it's whatever it's whatever so now i'm just gonna press down it's gorgeous it's beautiful ladies and gentlemen it's, it's beautiful oh goodness oh that stuff is runny and gross and sticky on my hands now it's fine it's fine. It's fine. Just keep lying to yourself, Hannah. My hands are like gross and sticky from this icing. It's delicious. I'm having a great time. Okay. Some beautiful orange oracles. What? It's fine. Shaky, shaky. God. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's just coming off in chunks. Chunky boys. And some red sprinkles. Oh, these are like even finer than the orange sprinkles. It's like just pixie dust in here. Hey, look, that that looks kind of like feathers. Yeah, actually, I really like how they're turning out. Yeah. They're cute. Yes, yeah, it's cute. Of course it's cute. Because I'm cute and I'm the creator. Why aren't your scissors sharp? I don't know. See, the only thing I've cut myself on is something I brought from home. Because it's sharp. Yeah, so this is the safest place for you to be. That's cute. <laughs> and some brown body. Okay, are we all ready for the for real? the masterpiece? Ready, everyone? Oh, 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 it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> everyone say gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. All along the back is like sprinkle gooey. Like you can see it. Oh, no, the turkey died. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll dry and then get tackier. Hold on, hold on. I have to like. Ooh, all of this off. Oh my god, it's just sliding off. This is disgusting. Oh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm covered in like yellow mustard. Like that's all it feels like to me is if like someone like 
said, hey, you want some hand sanitizer? And then just squirted your hands with the yellow mustard. Snickerdoodles out of the oven. Wow, just in time, because I'm going to show them my yeah. melty ornament. These are my beautiful melty ornaments. Hannah's got to make these look good, because they're going up on the wreath. It's another Christmas ornament. Yeah, Christmas. Each one has a separate claim. I just don't know what they are yet. I just I want all the beautiful snowflakes. Like, this is looking real cute, you guys. This is, this is going. Mm -hmm. There's stuff happening right now. So she's editing a video that was technically supposed to be up yesterday, but we're going to give her all the slack she needs. Because she also, this is finals week for her. This is so cute! Yes. Oh, I think I'm going to do a cute little forest right on the bottom with little, like, white stars. That'd be cute. Ooh. 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 successful ugly sweater. You think you're done? You're not. You're never done. You think, hmm, is that too much? No. You think, ooh, I'm done? No. Just keep pushing the boundaries. Boom! <laughs> All right. Look at that, <gasps> that legitimate so masterpiece. Cute. Like, this actually looks really good. That so I was gonna so hang good. these all up right now, but I want all of the icing to harden, especially because I did something this icing heavy. So we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we'll put them up tomorrow and they'll rest overnight. Yeah. We'll Obviously, this will like 
be at the end of the video. We'll be me pointing them out, but like, yeah. for now. We'll be back in different outfits with different lighting. We're done. Hey, we were running super late to our nerd party, my D&D group. Uh, and we forgot to actually eat her snicker tools. And I didn't get to eat one yesterday because we yeah. got Chinese and then I ate a lot of Chinese. Yeah, I didn't eat one yesterday either. Oh my God. First time for everything. Except we've both had these cookies before and yeah. they're a tried and true recipe. Anyways, pick the best looking cookie in the bunch, babe. Let's crack one of these suckers open. Should I eat from the middle or the end? Middle. The, the, the edges are right, sort of like a little crunchy, but full appreciation is right in the middle. Which is actually really good. Thank you. As always. This isn't a surprise. This taste test isn't like a surprise. We both knew they were going to be delicious because mm -hmm. she makes them numerous times a year. Yeah. And now that she's done first, haha, ha, she's going to show you all of my beautiful ornaments in my wreath and I'm going to sit here and be in the way. <laughs> it's what I do best. Let's start here. Say hi to the gold. Hi, gold. Uh, sweater, one getting pride of place right in the center. It is Hannah's favorite. It's just so funny. This one is my favorite. Hello, uh, artistic gal goat. Katie, I can't believe you said this one is my favorite and didn't pan to me. I'm right here. He's talking about a cookie. They're snacks, remember? You're a meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're the snack. I'm the meal. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. So, uh... We made cookies! We made cookies. We ate cookies, and we didn't eat cookies. It depended on the cookie. So we cookied it up, we ate a bunch of Christmas dinner, which you guys can eventually watch if you decide to. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna go make yet another video. So, we are busy, busy bees, and we'll see you later. Bye! There are still skills missing in action.